Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to talk about questions that you guys had about the G3. Many people asked questions after I posted my video last night and I had some time today so I figured I would make a video and answer those questions. Now one of the first questions that many people had was mag interchangeability and I, I talked about that but I did not demonstrate it so I want to demonstrate it here. Here's the 17 round mag from the G3 into the G3. 2C and they say they want higher cap mags for the G2C even though the P226 the SIG P226 mags will work in this I want to demonstrate this right here all right so the slide does lock back on an empty mag now for some of those unbelievers there are a lot of you guys that say show me proof well here's the 15 round mag all right fully loaded 124 green Winchester Super X there you go live round see that Loaded chamber bar. All right, here we go. Ready? 15 times. Slide locks back. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. I got a mess on my hands, but that's okay. I wanted to show you that that is a fact. Now, another thing that um, puzzled me was the name. Why is this called the G3? And so I called Taurus today, and I'm happy to report that they pick up the phone rather quickly now. No more 45 minute to an hour and a half long waits on hold. They picked up the phone. I actually got disconnected, but then I called back and within a minute, I got somebody on the phone. And I learned that the uh, G3 is, the three stands for third generation. All right, so here we have the G2C, second generation. Here we have the third generation. So a lot of you guys were asking, will they add that very nice trigger improvement where that trigger bar safety is thick and feels great and the trigger breaks at five pounds. Will they add that to the G2 seat? And from what I understand, the answer is going to be no because this is a third generation. Now, if they do a, a G3C, all right, which I highly doubt, but you never know, then we most likely will see that. I showed the Glock 19. And many of you guys said, well, surely the G3 would fit in that holster. Nope, it sure doesn't. Okay, Hydex, Kydex holster. How about the M&P 2.0 Compact? Will it fit in there? These were very close in size. A little lighter with the G3. Nope, that won't fit either. One that I did not show is the FNS 9C. Very close in size with the FNS 9C. All right, very close there a little longer uh, 15 rounds with the g3 12 rounds with the fns 9c but surely it would fit in this holster right no not even close so you will have to get your own holster uh kydex that is maybe a leather it will it probably will but it won't fit in the kydex holsters for those guns that i mentioned another question was is it modular because it does have the serial number right there on the internal chassis so We've learned with many other guns that that's a key, that it's modular because the, well, all this, all that is the gun, the trigger assembly unit. Well, that's not the case with this because they also put the serial number on the dust cover. So not only is it there, but it's also on the dust cover, which means that these two have to stay close together okay you can't you can't go change out a frame or you'd have to get that serial tag on the dust cover too so the long and short of all this is is that this is not a modular gun as it sits now now in regards to the warranty this is a limited lifetime warranty for the original owner if it is a uh, second owner, third owner, whatever. They said they would talk to the people and consider servicing it. Most likely it will include a bill. Now there's a one year warranty for the sights, the mags, and the finish for all owners. Some of you guys asked if the G2 slide assembly would fit on the G2 frame. So we're going to check that out right now. Let's go ahead and take off the slide. Here's the G3. And the G2C. And we'll take the slide assembly from the G3 with the frame of the G2C. And it will not work. Now, I can manipulate it to get it to this point. 
so it looks like it works but it will not push back it will not it will not charge that is very tight and then even to take it back off is a bit of a problem so i'm gonna have to work on that and lastly many guys said to compare the taurus g3 with the ruger security 9 and i thought about it and i said you know what that would make one great comparison two excellent companies that are doing amazing work and i think these two would compare very well so after the range review look forward to a comparison with the ruger security 9 and i have some great plans coming up for the future if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe